Hey, what's up YouTube, Dope Azioli here. Hope you have a dope day. Welcome back to another video. Guys, today is a very special episode. Rosie and I, first time ever, are going to New York, guys. So yesterday was Rosie's birthday. Excuse all the boxes in the back. So we're going on a trip for her birthday. It's about to be awesome. So this is the first time we're actually adults and we are packed up, ready to go in multiple suitcases and not a duffel bag. <laughs> And they roll, so I don't have to carry, I carry everything, every trip, everywhere, all bags. So it is Wednesday, it is 8.15 in the morning, our flight's in three hours, we're gonna leave early because we're adults now, and we're not gonna rush to the airport like Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> but we are going to eat New York pizza, all right, in New York. Guys, we've never been there. We've Our favorite show is Seinfeld, our other favorite show is The Office, it's all East Coast stuff. We went to Mexico for our friend's wedding three years ago. We went to Portland four years ago. The only trips Rosie and I have ever taken, ever. We've been together for almost 11 years, never taken a trip like this. I'm excited, guys. No work. Well, I do have some work. I have a little bit of work in two days, but other than that, we're not gonna do anything but hang out. I'm gonna go to sleep and not touch my phone for like half a day. I'm super excited, guys. This is the Adventures of Yolo channel. This is the New York vlog. I'll see you in a minute. This time, your small right. items, backpack, person's computer bags, they must go on inside. We bought these super sick seats, and then last night they told us, oh, we messed up and gave your seats away, even though we bought them. So now we're in the back. It's the first time we ever bought cool seats, and they messed it up. Here we go. From here to here. All right, I hate flying. You guys know that, so I'm going to try to go to sleep. I will right, we'll see you guys in New York. Happy birthday. Thank you. Hi. Hello. What's up? We're here. Hi. I'm so stoked. Hi. I'm so excited. What's up, guys? So we're in New York. We've been here for a while. Just waiting for our bags. I understand it used to take years to get from California to New York, and we got here in five hours on a magic plane. And I had cell service. I get it, but damn. It's been like 45, maybe 50 minutes just waiting for our bags. And the car guy is just sitting outside. I feel so bad for him. I feel terrible. I never met this person. He's just waiting outside. Yup. All right, you got one. Ready? Go. Let's go. He's right there. Hello. How you doing? I'll help you out. Thanks, man. Yeah, I don't know where this fool went. Yeah, he parked like that. People park like they don't give a, they don't care out here. All right. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's pretty bad traffic. All right, so we probably missed our dinner reservations, Rosie. We probably have to look for some more stuff. drove by a Manscaped ad as we get off the plane. Thanks, Manscaped, for paying for the trip. Thank you. They didn't actually go, Thomas, you want to go to New York? I'm no. just saying, like, we're sponsored by <laughs> Manscaped. Thank you so much for helping. It's super dark in here, and you know what I hate? Going up. <laughs> we're on 51st floor, guys. Heights and me don't mix. I hate, I hate it. Whoa. 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 Dude. What? This is crazy. Holy Rosie, look. Oh my God. No, look down there. We're once, we're like one <gasps> block away from all that. Oh my gosh. I don't even know where we are. We're in Manhattan, right? Yeah, we're in Times Square. Times Square. Oh, that's Times Square? Yeah. Oh, dude, let's go get food. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm currently talking to my microphone like this because I'm kind of lazy right now. And I do not want to mic back up. So, day one in New York, Rosie and I went to go get food. And now we're back at the hotel. We're going to watch Seinfeld and go to sleep. We were both at the restaurant saying, where are we going to go after this? I looked at her and go, I'm tired. Tired. She goes, oh my God, I'm so tired. So we're about to watch Seinfeld, eat a bunch of candy, and then go to sleep. But we're staying right above Times Square, so we have so much to do tomorrow. I've always heard of Saks Fifth Avenue, so we're going to go shop in there tomorrow. We're going to go find some cool places to eat. Also, guys, we had a reservation for a restaurant at 10. We get there, and they're already closing. The guy opens the door. He's like, can I help you? We tell him, like, yeah, we had a reservation. He stops what he's doing. He looks at us, goes, I'll open back up. Come sit down. I'm like, no, I'll come back tomorrow, man. They're literally almost done cleaning. I see all the workers about to leave. And even the worker dudes are like, yo, come in. We'll get you a table. How nice of these dudes. I've always heard New Yorkers are super mean and aggressive so far. And our waitress we ended up going to gave us a list of other restaurants we would like. So far, I've seen like two bums and maybe a couple drug addicts. New York is winning right now. So far, New York won, LA zero. I mean, as far as super nice people and bomb restaurants.
lot of hot dogs everywhere. A lot, like an absurd amount of hot dogs everywhere. What up, what up? How you feeling? I feel in awe right now. In awe? We're, like we're really here. I know, right? Yeah, that is so cool. I don't know, everybody tells us to ride the subways, but I feel like there's just Ninja Turtles down there and monsters. Yeah, I don't know. Is this one good? good. How you doing? Fifth Avenue. Yes. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's where we're Guys, we are in Central Park. Rosie? What's up? Hi. All right, it just looks like Seinfeld everywhere. Dude, this horse is huge. Welcome to Central Park. Thank you. Thank you. This is unreal, dude. One dog goes one way, one dog goes the other way. A six mile park, Rosie? That's about a 10 k That's right in amazing. Front of me, this is the place to move it. Home alone to the pigeon lady. Oh, the pigeon lady. Thank you for pointing that out. For pointing out the Home Alone pigeon lady. That's one of my favorite movies ever like you. Home Alone Pigeon Lady, huh, Rosie? Yo, all my brain just keeps running through every movie I've ever seen. I, know, I was just wondering, <laughs> where's the part where he throws the stick for Big Daddy? Oh, I don't know. Hi. What's up, boy? Oh my god. I wish I could have got it. Old man right there had an orange beard and orange hair, but story time orange. Like he dyes it actively. It was cool. I ate a lot of candy. I ate so much candy. Oh, the stairs, the staircase, oh, Rosie the John Wick staircase. Is. Oh yeah, the spot from John Wick. Yeah. Downtown, the Japanese restaurant. That's awesome. It is a spot from John Wick. Ah oh, man, I love movies so much. Oh, this is the Friends Fountain. The Friends Fountain. Why does it look so different? Right. Movie magic. Still like Seinfeld better. Ghostbusters. Everybody's just chilling, taking pictures. Pretty awesome, babe. It happens. What? What up, uh, dude? The horses are so cool. I've never been as close to horses. Wow. That's where George slammed into Bed Midler. That's where he did it. The Bed Midler episode of Seinfeld. Careful. What's up? Hello. Hey, you got a perm. Whoa. <laughs> wow, I ate that whole carrot. <laughs> wow. Do, do your next one. Oh, he's, that means he's ready, Rosie. <laughs> All right, be, be, I need I need my hands for, for putting candy and stuff. Please be cool. Give him a second. Okay. Hi. Hi. Here you go. Now he's ready. You ready, man? Yep. Look, oh. he's trying to get Give it. Give me this one. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'll do one more. Hold on, he's just... Oh. That's kind of scary. I've never been this close to a horse. Oh, okay, he's ready. You ready? Go push. Uh, push up. There you go. All right. <laughs> hey. Oh. Oh. Wow. It's gigantic. I don't know about that one. I'm not going to get any closer, <laughs> but he's really nice. He's cool. Thank you so much. Do you have a cash? Yeah. Hi. Hey. Hey. What's up, dude? I thought I recognized you. How's it going? 
<laughs> Dude, I watch your videos, bro. Thanks for watching, yeah. man. I appreciate you. Hey, bro, you. Can, can, can I take a picture with of you? Of course, bro. Yeah, of course. I'm a, no, What's your name, bro? Mikey. Thomas, bro. Nice yeah, to I'm, meet I'm you. I'm from uh, Utah. Oh, for real? You yeah. just happen to be out here, too? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Cool, yeah. man. Well, nice thank, you, thank you for watching, man. Have a good day, guys. Thank Have you. a good day. What are the odds? He's from Utah. Right. Pulls up behind us. Yo, shout out to all the fans out here. Shout out to you, Mikey. All the way from Utah. Just happens to pull up behind us, Rosie, yeah. on the horse. So, thanks for watching. Look how old this looks, Rosie. This is older than us. Dude, this is a trip. Is that how fast we're going? Cool little find. I like that. Lion King. Lion King rock. Guys, I'm about to turn the camera around and show you how hot New York is. I didn't know it was this bad out here. It's like being in Merced. My whole entire shirt is suctioned to my body. And I'm fat. I'm wearing Aaliyah 90s cargo pants Rosie bought me. I love them. They're super dope. All right. Have you ever been sweaty before? I thought New York was cold. <laughs> it's not cold at all here. Oh my God. Yo, these buildings are so scary. Makes me feel dizzy just looking at them. It is so hot and it just started raining, but I think we should just walk it out. All right, we just went to this Mexican food spot. That food, that's some of the best Mexican vegan stuff I've ever had in my entire life. We're gonna walk it out and go to the shoe store. Wow, that's crazy. I don't know where we are, but let's keep walking. A lot of pizza spots, a lot of Joe's pizzas, a lot of hot dog places. Haven't seen Ninja Turtle or haven't ran into 50 Cent yet and haven't seen one rat on the ground. Everybody says they're everywhere. There's more rats in downtown LA than here. Dang, basketball and handball. They got scoreboards and jerseys and teams. People playing basketball, it's raining so heavy. Millions of people just living their lives out here, Rosie. It's crazy. Seen a little kid run into the restaurant to do his homework yesterday. He looks stressed like a 40-year-old man. Yeah. Uh, there's just kids walking around out here. When you think of big cities, you, and especially from us being from small cities, you never think there's kids out here running around, but there is. There's groups of kids playing basketball and skating. And it's a trip. Yo, what? What is happening? What is this place? Oh no! Yo, what's up guys? It's been about five hours since I last filmed. But Rosie and I just got back from our first Broadway show. It was amazing. It was pretty cool. The Book of Mormon, which is written by these guys. <laughs> Honestly, it was really funny. Seeing the production, all the people, when the lights go out, watch them come in, bring the new set, it made me feel like, what else can we do with story time? It like a new TV Yeah, like a new screen. It was like a new mm -hmm. transition. I so loved it. It makes me think like, what can we do with our videos? I, that was the most inspiring the thing I've ever seen. So yeah, they're, they're moving the set in. You just need two chairs, a blue background, a sign, and now you're at a bus station. Yep. We just made our first set at the warehouse for the pizza story time, which comes out soon. So it just got me thinking. It was very cool to see Book of Mormon. If you ever have a chance to see it, go see it. And then after that, we hop on one of those bikes. You've seen them around New York, the guy's on the bike. He pulls you on the little thing, you sit on it. How do you feel? I feel extremely plain. How do you right feel now? about that? I feel so played right now. So I'm like, you know what? This guy seems nice. I'll just hop on. We're gonna go to a restaurant. Give him the address. He's like, don't worry, it's by time. 18 minutes. He adds it up at the end. He goes, it's been 18 minutes. You owe me $144. And we're like, you know what? Let's take this instead of an Uber. It'll be cool. Probably won't be as cool expensive. Space. Let's just do it. Not even the money. It's the, don't be so nice the whole time. Almost get us hit by cars the whole trip. The whole entire time. I thought we were going to side hit or like. I thought we were going to get hit by a car. I thought we were going to get like across. sandwiched in yes, between Yes, in between cars. cars. $144 for what? The restaurant doesn't exist. That yeah. is a fake ghost kitchen. And there is that, that restaurant is 
isn't real. So we found a bunch of other places, couldn't get to them because there was too much traffic. And I'm not sitting here trying to complain, I'm just updating you on what we didn't film. Oh, actually, before we went to the Book of Mormon, our friends Doug and Mally from Long Island, they came down, hung out with us for a minute, took us to a speakeasy. You go into this hot dog shop, ring once on the phone in the phone Wait, booth. You gotta do it. First you go into the hot dog shop. Yeah. Then you walk into the phone booth. Exactly, walk into the phone booth, you press one and someone comes and opens a secret door. It says how many? Is it how many with you? Alright, I'm ZRDs. And it's a speakeasy bar. So it was real creepy. I felt like I could get possessed on the way to the it bathroom. Was, it was a little creepy. So I didn't leave. I just drank a soda. I didn't go anywhere. I just ate tater tots and drank my drink. And then we went to the Book of Mormon. But that's what we've been doing since the last time we saw you guys at Central Park. And now, how many minutes away? Two minutes away. I'm gonna go downstairs and get our food. Like, it's yeah. honestly, dude, for the city that never oh, yeah, sleeps, like all the vegan food is in Brooklyn. Why is New York, Manhattan not the poppin' food spot? I don't, or at least for vegan stuff. Also, shout out to, I walked through Times Square for five minutes. Shout out to every single person that came up and took a picture. Appreciate you guys. I was just on my way. We Ubers take forever, so we're like, you know what, let's just walk to the theater. But shout out to everybody that said what up to me in Times Square. Appreciate you guys. Yo, what's up guys? Uh, this is not right after we get back from New York. I honestly forgot we had so much work. It's been days. So this is me doing the outro since there was not an official outro. So guys, that was our first New York trip. I didn't film all this. Look it, we were there for four days. I filmed only two days because it was a vacation. I didn't want to walk around filming when me and Rosie were just trying to hang, you know, we were just trying to hang out and experience New York without having to work. But I filmed what I could. Thank you guys for watching. Just got back from Frank and Sons. If you watch the 40K shopping spree video, it's the toy store. We just got back. Let me let me just show you real quick. I know the video's over, but for everybody that loves toys, watch this. Look at this, guys. Super sick Bruce Lee toy. I know. I just saw it. I don't have a Bruce Lee toy, so I had to get it. And yes, I know this is a New York vlog, but I'm excited, all right? If you don't want to watch it, you could leave. But if you like toys... Watch this next one. For everyone out there that likes good, awesome movies, check this out. Oh my God. Look at this. Oh my God. It's so cool. And this is a super old toy, but look at this. That's how you open it? Dude, that's cool. Look at this. I love James and the Giant Peach. Such a good movie. First time I saw it, I was in LA at the apartment. If you just watched the other story time, that apartment in LA, first time I ever watched this movie. Yes, I am gonna keep the box, but I'm not keeping him in the box. I'm taking it out. I'm not a collector like that anymore. I like to look at my toys, so here it is. This next toy, for everyone out there that likes this movie as much as I do, what a find. And yes, original, old, old school toy. And the batteries work. Look, oh my God. Look at this. All right, guys, sometimes, sometimes we make mistakes. I forgot to plug the microphone in, in case you were wondering why it sounded weird. Okay, so now that the microphone's actually on, listen to this toy. I don't know what he's saying, he's speaking Spanish. Oh, no, 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 that's Colombian. No, that's definitely Spanish. But here's some quick pickups, I know, like I said, I know it has nothing to do with the video, but pretty stoked. All right, now we're officially done. Thank you guys so much for being here. Everybody out in New York, if we saw you out there, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for coming, saying hi, taking pictures. Everybody was so polite and so nice. I'm going back. Rosie and I are gonna go back probably in the winter time. I know it's probably scary flying in the winter, but I wanna see that Home Alone 2 Lost in New York setting, guys. I wanna see it, those buildings looked awesome, and I gotta see it snowing. So this has been the New York vlog. Rosie's at the mall with my mom right now, or else she'd be right here saying bye. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting. Leave a like. I get paid on this channel, all right? All these ads and everything, I get revenue. This is a family-friendly channel. That's why we're gonna talk about smoking and we don't cuss. So thank you for supporting this channel. Leaving a like actually really does help me on this channel, so thank you very much. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Dope Ziola. Have a dope day.